हेलो हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो सो बेसिकली दिस वीडियो में प्रॉब्लम मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ टैप्स टू ओपन टू वाटर अ गार्डन इट्स लाइक नॉट इजी वन स्पेशली लाइक टू थिंक वॉट एल्गोदम वन बी अप्लाइड मे बी इजी बट टू एक्चुअली राइट इट एंड कोड इट डाउन और मे बी जस्ट टू ऑप्टिमाइज इट इट कैन बी बेटर की सो लेट्स हेयर इज अ वन डी गार्डन ऑन दी एक्सैक्स द गार्डन स्टार्ट एट द पॉइंट जीरो अगेन इट स्टार्ट एट द पॉइंट जीरो इट सेल्फ सो बिफोर पॉइंट जीरो देर आर नो plants as such and ends at the point n okay i am concerned from 0 up till n i am only concerned for the garden cool uh, the length of the garden is n you can see the length of the garden is n there are n plus 1 taps located at the point 0 1 0 1 2 3 up till n so there are n plus 1 taps on these points on these points cool uh, okay uh, we are having an integer n and an integer i called as ranges of length n plus 1 where the ranges of i it means that i a tap can water i minus range of i to i plus range of i so basically um, we have an array called as ranges now add this index index is 0 1 2 up to so on and so forth so at this index if i have a range as let's say 4 so it just says okay i can just water 4 back and 4 forward which means if the index is 2 i can water up till minus 2 and up till 6 index it just says this the range says this right now uh, i have to return the minimum number of taps that i should open to water the whole garden if the garden it cannot be watered entirely then i have to return the minus 1 now i have to return the minimum number of taps i should open again i have to open minimum number of taps now as you can see from the example itself for for sure for sure you can also make your own example also you can just look at this example itself now it is very evident that aren I have to open minimum number of taps, right? Now I could see that in this example, one tap, one tap. Here I started from zero itself, right? For zero, it has a range of three, so it can go from zero to minus three and until plus three. Yeah, that's correct. It's plus three, minus three, and the same it can go on for every other tap. It is for tap one. It can go for up for tap one minus three to plus five. It can go for tap one. Cool. Yeah. So. it is evident that okay i will try to take the maximum range maximum range person for sure because and rn why are you making backwards also for sure yeah it's not required to make backwards we can start from here itself because these is backwards is not required as such so we can just make it uh from zero itself because we are not concerned because we have only the plants or basically the garden is up till from zero up till n which means 5 so one thing we got to know okay uh, it's always good to take the maximum one which is having the maximum length because for sure it will just give me more plants and if i just am able to water more plants so indirectly i would be using lesser taps to water more plants but 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 so one thing we got to know maybe maybe it's it's a, it's just a hint still for us so is it good to always take the one having the maximum length what if it was not even starting from this point what if it it was starting from here itself then would you be taking and let's say the maximum length is this let's say this length would you be taking this maybe not why because i want to water all the plants so for sure i will be taking someone from the starting itself but uh, i did not take so one thing is for sure okay for a particular point for a particular point as it needs to be watered for sure so whatsoever high i have available at that point i need to take it for sure so let's say it was not here it was here the first first was here so i will take it now as i have taken it as i have taken it now and i had to take it it was not an option for me i had to take it now as i have taken it now comes the next now comes the next tap i can take now for sure for the next tap i want i want okay any tap such that i can start from here and go up till end which means any tap which can actually give me the maximum plants which it can water so again uh, the next options i have i can take this also this also this also any any i can take because for sure it will just start watering plants from here itself and i want okay the next plant every plant should get watered so i'm concerned okay every plant should get watered as i am concerned about this plant right here so i'll just say okay hey bro uh, is this plant being watered um okay 
he can water this plant he can water this plant he can water this plant now again i want to take just one tap so rather than taking this and this i will take this tap because it is able to water more plants so one thing is for sure okay if i'm starting off i will just firstly and concerned okay this plant it needs to be watered so please at least give me one such things which it can water this plant if there are multiple multiple if there are multiple such taps which can water this plant then take the one which can have the maximum range which is this one because i'm ultimately concerned about because okay it's a tap it can it can also water the the the, the tap zero it can also water it can also water but the one it can water more plants and i'm starting from here itself okay now i can water all these plants and i'm very good with it so okay we have got to know one thing okay we can start off by taking a plant and then seeing how many plants but, but, but like we can start off by taking a tap and then see uh, what all plants it can water Aryan so for that shall I sort firstly again I have to make these ranges down I have to make these ranges down right and then shall I sort these ranges out or not like because you said okay you will take the one which is starting from very minimum and then you will keep on taking the ones uh, so is it important to sort these ranges down? We will see that part if it is actually important to sort these ranges down. But one thing you got to know for sure that okay, I will start from a plant. I will start from a tap and for sure I want this plant to be watered. So whatsoever uh, taps are there which can water this plant, I will take them. Now for all these taps which can water the same plant, there is a competition which can which can actually water the maximum number of plants. So out of all these competition competition taps, I'll take the one which can actually water maximum number of taps. It's evident because ultimately if it can water plant zero also, then I will take this one because it can water maximum number of plants. Now it is of no use. So okay, one tap I've taken. Now I will just, again, let's say the range would have been a bit longer. Let's say 9, 10 or 11. Then again, I would have more options. Okay, I can take more plants. Then I will just keep on start checking. Okay, uh, bro. Now, again, a plant should, a, a tap should be there which can water more such plants. So, I will just ask, hey bro, can you just water this plant? Yeah, he can water. So, I can just take this plant. Now, we saw here in this example, there was just one uh, tap which was required. So, that's a pretty exa easy example. But yeah, now you know for sure one thing that you will take up a tap which can water that plant and also it should be if there are multiple such taps at that particular plant then you will try to take okay uh, i'll try to take the one tap which can have the maximum range okay it is ending at the last at the max so that it can water multiple such plants or more such plants now uh, one thing it comes in our mind is okay we will take we will we know i have to start from here itself then uh, I know okay I am I'll take the maximum such plant so Aryan for every point shall I go on all the ranges to know what is the for that starting point what all or what all are the maximum plants you can do it but that it will become O of N which means for every point you are going to every range now we have to make a range because we know we are given for 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 this one I am giving uh, the 4 is the range so I can build the maximum the minimum minimum is minus 3 maximum is 5 so it is the range for this particular tap so shall I go on to every range for every of the starting point uh, which means for every of this point I will go on to every ranges and see which is the maximum range which is the maximum end point it can give if I do it it will become a O of n square um, still o of n square 1 e 8 it can or cannot pass it's a just a brim point so we will for sure not do it but we know ultimately what's the idea behind it and let's see that how we can actually solve it so now you have got a basic idea for a point you need to have okay if there are multiple such taps get the one which is having the maximum range and then keep on going forward because now you know you have got the maximum range now if you have got the maximum range, which means it this one tap it can water maximum number of plants. Now, if one tap, it can water maximum number of plants. And I want minimum number of, minimum number of such taps. So, this, if I, I only take the taps which can water maximum number of plants. So, for sure. And maximum as in, okay. It should add actually in my range. Which means, okay. New ranges. New ranges. New ranges. As, as big range as possible. 
and new one also let's see a modified example now again if you want to modify example there is nothing but okay in the last example we saw that okay we are having only one range but we are trying to extend our range to see okay how it will actually work so just the same stuff i made the same example range it's just that for this point four for this point four i just tried to extend okay it was zero i just trying to extend that range to three so now instead of just standing at this point itself it can go backwards three and forward three so it can go four minus three which is up till one so it can go up till one which is here and up till number seven and i also modified the end let's say i have to reach up till number seven again uh it i will start from this plant zero for plant zero i for sure need to water it so all such ones and aryan okay the range was extended backwards also so you should have extended backwards also but yeah you know i know that okay plants are not backwards zero so i just start from a range from zero itself so i will not be considering minus three minus and so on and so forth i just consider okay it is starting from zero itself so when i'm making this ranges i just say okay uh your left range it will be maximum of zero comma what is the actual left range which is i minus range of i it is the actual left left part now the right part is nothing but i plus right of i itself that's the right part okay now you have got a left and right part for every of such taps now when you have got it for the plant for the plant i equal to zero i know that it needs to water for sure for this water plant i should know okay for this plant which is being being watered uh, or it needs to be watered i have some ranges but for out of all those ranges what's the maximum end point what is the maximum the one range it can reach because i i will take only one plant I, i'll take only one tap either i can take this or this so for sure you will see that okay it's good to take this so for this particular start point it is always good to take this end right so what i will say okay um now one thing again shall i go on to every of those end points again and again which means shall i go on to every range and see hey bro for i equal to zero what are all the ranges and what are the corresponding end points no it's good that okay to store this particular part and say okay for your let's say you have an array and for the i equal to zero as a start point what is the maximum end point out of all the ranges it will say okay let's store it as in an arr of i and it will say maximum of arr of i comma corresponding right point which is for every of such i's i will just store okay for this arr of i is actually a three for this arr of i is actually a five and i will just say okay for this corresponding i equal to zero i equal to zero it is also i equal to zero i just keep track of maximum one maximum one so for this i equal to zero arr of i will keep track okay what is the maximum end point a range can reach because i am concerned about the maximum end point for a range starting from xyz which is actually zero in this case so uh, i will have i will not even count this i will have stored okay for i equal to, for arr of i here of i where i is actually a zero which means okay if the starting point is actually a plant zero then the maximum it can reach is five because it will be three then it will get updated with five because i'm just keeping track of the maximum point now okay again for sure um it is reached which means i have taken answer is increased by one i have taken this particular range now i have this range now it's very good for me that i can take any ranges now again i will i know this plant it can get watered 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 by this because of this particular because of this particular plant oh uh, sorry tap which was at point zero and this was the tap let's say it was the tap number two so because of this tap or tap number uh one let's say which is which was this tap because of this tap i was able to water all these plants but again now i'm concerned about for sure tap six should be watered but what all ranges i can take now i can take every ranges which is which is here i can take this also and also all these which are here 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 i can take all, all of them because for sure there can be a chance that okay a plant or basically now if i ask you here is one of the now let's say the range would have been 8 9 and 10 here here it is one of the taps which can water from 8 from 6 to 8 now here is one of the taps which can water from number 2 to actually number 10 so it's good na to take this particular one so i would be knowing okay what all now what are the, what are the new ranges i can take 
I can take the new ranges as okay. Sorry, uh, decrease that. Oh, sorry. Like, let's let's have this. Let's have this. Now I would know. Uh, let's okay. Let's decrease this. Now I would know what are the new ranges I can take. So it was not there earlier, right? Now I would know what are the new, new ranges I can take. Uh, new ranges I can take. I can also take from six, but I can also take all the previous ranges. So for I know. Okay, my plant zero was watered. My plant zero was watered, right? My plant zero was watered. Now, when a plant zero is watered, I'll go to plant one. I'll say, oh, bro, okay, I know, but ultimately in my mind, I will not increase my answer because I'm not taking a new tap. But ultimately, I know in my mind, okay, plant zero is watered, but I have not watered all the plants. So for sure, I will take the next range. Now, if I take the next range, uh, I'll go on to plant one. Now, for plant one, I know, I know, I cannot increase the answer up till the plant five because. I know, okay, I have already watered the plant five. So I just take the new range. I'm just concerned about taking the new range. For new ranges option, I will start getting options from plant one. Okay, bro, for plant one, what all uh, what all uh, ranges are there? Please give me the farthest you can go. I know I will take one new tap, but which new tap to take, I will get in by, by crawling or by going on all the plants. Okay, for plant one, uh, if there is any tap which can start from this particular range, so give me the maximum it can reach. Okay, for plant one, I can see. Okay, I can reach maximum of um, as a three point. So, okay, the maximum or the farthest I can reach is three. Again, I'm not increasing my answer because I'm not taking any new tap. Why I'm not taking any new any any new tap? Because I know one thing for sure: all these plants from here to here are actually watered. Cool. I'll go. I'm just grabbing. Okay. What is the next new tap which I will take? What it will actually incur me, or the farthest point it can incur me? I go into point two, uh, bro. For point two, um, I see that uh, um, I have another of this point. Oh, but point one also I have a new range. Oh, point one also I have one thing which can farthest reach is seven. Oh, I can farthest reach is seven. The new reach which I can have is actually a seven. Okay, with this, uh, I can have a farthest reach of four, but it's actually as a seven. So no worries, uh, have it as a seven itself. It will not increase because I'm just increasing my farts. I can go, I'll go on to next number, which is three. Okay, there is no range. I'll go on to next next number four. There is again no range starting from here. I go to next number five, which is again no range. Next number six, again, uh, I have nothing, which means as in nothing as in starting from here itself. So I know, okay, if I... I take a new tap the farthest I can reach is actually a seven so I know if I take any new tap the farthest I can reach is a seven itself so again uh, I will take this particular new this particular tab which is new tap so I know my answer will increase by two because earlier it was one so now it will become a two but now I know the farthest I can reach is actually a seven so my end point will actually become a seven and I can reach a seven so again uh, I will reach a seven, although the answer will end here. But let's say the range would have been bigger because uh, why answer will end, end here? Because end I reached as seven and my end, the ultimate goal of me to reach was also a seven. So, but ultimately, let's say if I, it had been a more range, let's say eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, something and so on and so forth. I would have known, okay, I have reached up till the point seven. I can now try for the range six, seven and eight. Because I'm, you know, one thing I'm going on to every plant exactly once and there are only n plants for those corresponding plant. I know, okay, for those corresponding plant, which means for those corresponding point, what is the maximum farthest it can reach, which means this two ranges, but I will be showing the answer ARR of I as just one value for this corresponding start point. I will be keeping track of what is the farthest it can reach. And that's how you can simply solve it in just O of n time that for every point you will keep and see it's just that you have a luxury of getting all these points in this range you get you have this luxury now you will you know okay you are you can reach this farthest point it is the end point now you can just utilize this luxury to go on to all these points one by one to know what is the next farthest i can reach if i have to go and now i know okay, then the, the, the next farthest i can reach is actually number 0.7 so I can just simply reach that point and for sure, I'll just keep on repeating the same stuff, which means a simple for loop or while loop to get the number of ranges. Ultimately, the main goal is you got the range, you got the maximum range starting from a point. 
after taking the maximum range, you know, okay, it will give me the minimum number of taps because I'm taking the maximum range. A tap, it can affect the maximum number of plants, maximum number of new plants. So I'm taking a one tap. So by this concept, I will take minimum number of taps uh, and those taps actually affect the maximum number of new plants. Now, to actually replicate this concept in code, what we did was we actually started from a plant and took okay, this plant, this tap, it can reach how max okay it can reach now i have this luxury to travel from here to here and see what all taps were there which can actually reach in much farther so i can just increase my farthest it can reach as a variable to keep track of how far i can actually reach if i take a new tap and with this you can just keep on repeating the same stuff so that's the reason you use a greedy in this approach greedy as in you you take for every tap you just you, you just took a maximum it can reach Maximum range it can reach to get the maximum range for the evaluation. Now, just a simple dry run of what we did and what we are using. Firstly, the thing which we used is for every plant, I need to know how maximum it can reach. So for every point or I see a point of plant, same stuff for every point, which means zero. Let's say a start point for it, which means a left coordinate, right? For a plant, it has a left and the right, right coordinate, left coordinate. I, actually already showed you that i will have a left coordinate as maximum of zero comma actual left coordinate which is i minus range of i now why is zero comma because my plants are actually starting from zero itself so again uh, i will have this left coordinate first corresponding left coordinate i will keep track of the maximum right it can any any tap can go so that i will only take that particular tap for this the answer the for this the value will be a of i value will be three but for this value will be five so three will be overridden by five so now for the starting point my maximum it can reach is actually a five so if i take a plant if, if i take a tap at plant zero so the maximum it can reach is five so i will take for short this particular tap itself so that's the reason i i will pre-compute this part for every point so that for every plant later in the stage i would not have to go into every range earlier the reason o of n square would be coming in now if i have this one thing for sure okay now i have taken this particular tap now all these plants as I will go in, I will get, okay, what is the next farthest it can reach? I know the end point is 5, so I can go up till this particular end point and I will keep on checking, okay, what is the next farthest end it can reach? So for this, again, uh, as it will go on to the first point, it will just ask, hey bro, what is the maximum farthest you can go? Say He will say for i equal to 1, which means for this left equal to 1, the next farthest it can go is actually a Seven, so I can just increase or I can just have a variable called as uh, the next far it can reach or the farthest it can reach and I can just keep on updating that variable as seven and it will just keep on increasing 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 up till this point and when it will just be landing here he will just again ask good let me know who all are the farthest farthest people who can reach now just a simple dry run. See, again, everything has been explained. Just a simple dry run for you guys. Here you saw air of 0 is 3. Air of 0 will actually get increased to 5. Air of 1 is 3. Air of 2 is 4. Again, it's just the end points. Again, how we find the end point? Simply saying, air of i. i is actually left. Left. It will become a maximum of air of left. Or i plus, i plus range of i that is actually what you will do and now for this particular air of one you saw it was three but it will increase to seven so for every start point i will have the maximum end points with me now you know how left was calculated now as i'll go on to every of those end points because for every point i'm just doing okay for this point what's the maximum range it can reach okay now it is the range i will take this particular tap okay for i have taken this tap and i have not completed my all the plants go on and find the next farthest i can go if i just choose the next tap so the same stuff for each point i take uh, i take that particular range or I take that particular tap i'll see for all the taps in that particular range what is the next farthest it can reach for the next range which i will take uh, as you saw uh, for this particular tap I will just go on to every point and see, okay, this is the farthest it, it can reach. This is the farthest it can reach. Sorry, this is the, this is the farthest it can reach. This is the farthest, this is the farthest. So it, it was the farthest it can reach in this particular, all the points. 
up till here so i know okay i am very good if i just take or i can also have also have this point if any point would have me starting at six itself so still next farthest it, it could have reached give me that particular point so i know the next farthest i can reach from one till six because that is my answer i would be i can water all these taps so i know i will increase my tap count by one so please give me the next farthest it can reach so that it will add or basically affect more new plants so it will just have this as starting i'm starting from zero itself plant zero end is nothing but okay i have to reach i have to complete this particular plants i have not i have not even started to water any plants it, it just say okay uh, how many plants currently i need to water okay the, it will say how many plants i can water ultimately if i just take some xyz of the tap then maximum farthest i can reach it just says okay if i don't increase my tap count or basically answer if i don't increase i can ultimately reach this particular end for sure now in the start point i equal to zero itself for sure your end is zero which means you have to start and stop here itself if you stop here itself you know the maximum you can reach the farthest you can reach is five answer is five sorry and answer is increased by one because you are using one tap now you know that for the next iteration uh even if you don't increase the tap value even if you don't increase the tap value still you can easily reach up to the end five so now why i can't use the same variable farthest reaches because for the next as i go on on the next taps which means from here 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 or being the next points i need to increase this farthest reach again but i should be knowing okay where i have to actually stop i have to stop at this point i should be knowing that part right so what i will do i will just assign this variable farthest reach in my end so i would be knowing, okay i i will go on up till the end and see what is the for these points one two three four five what is the next farthest all these points can actually reach so again i just simply do it same stuff my eyes increase to one now it will just keep on going and increase my next farthest until my eye is exhausted and until my eye has like reached this particular end so if it has reached it will go and see okay next farthest i can reach is this particular point which is xyz point great no worries so by this i can increase my next or the farthest i can reach and my eye will keep on increasing 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 next time my eye will come to here six last in the last of this loop my eye will come to six again my farthest i can reach will become a seven or and i is here my i will become six now the end i will assign to number seven and for sure my answer was okay if i can reach my end end as n so i can reach my n itself that's how it was a try run of the entire example firstly we saw that why we are actually applying and using the maximum range particular tap which actually internally apply, implies it's a greedy problem. After that, we saw, okay, how it can be done. Then we had a dry run. Then we had a concept run and that's all. Cool, the exact same stuff as we saw in the code. Firstly, we'll just pre-compute for every the left point, what's the maximum right it can have for every tap whatsoever. So left point, it's nothing but uh, having a zero to I minus range of I. Uh, maximum is nothing but A of left to I plus range of I. Now, when this is done, uh, when the and again uh, for uh, any whatsoever tap if it is there it needs to be ha having some values so we'll just have is have this particular done now when this left is done for us i will have an error of left and i plus range of i now for every correspond every corresponding point uh, i know that i can water all the plants for that particular start point now as i showed you end far i can reach and answer answer is nothing but the taps required uh, i'll go on and i know for this corresponding start point i will take this particular tap because i will take this tap for sure now if i take this tap i will know okay i have taken this tap what is the farthest it can reach it that's already up, up, uh, updated with me the farthest it can reach now i will just simply assign my end for sure i'll check okay 
if I cannot increase my end, which means you will get to know this later. But let's let's forget for now that it was not even there. But my end will assign my farthest reach. It will assign to end. Now I will get a new end. So I can just keep on going in my new end and find the next farthest I can reach. But still, even if assigning a new end and still even after iterating and seeing the farthest I can reach, if still they are same, which means my farthest thing it can reach, it never increased and it never also reached end. So my end never reached to end. My farthest also, it is not even increasing. My farthest, it should increase here from end. It should increase because end I assigned my farthest I, ass I assigned to end my farthest I'm trying to increase but if it did not increase and for sure if end would have been end so it would have already ended but if it did not end which means my end I have not reached the end and still my farthest it, it is not even increasing which means I cannot go beyond if I cannot go beyond oh sorry bro I have to turn a minus one which means my end and farthest which means they are same which means I'm stuck I'm stuck at that point I cannot reach I cannot reach beyond that. Oh, blow simply return a minus one. Else, you can simply increase your farthest you can reach, assign your end, so that next time you can actually go on and see the new farthest you can actually, re actually reach. And simply keep on increasing and keep on doing your answer. And that would be simply it. As you go on, you just take, okay, I just take this tap. And now I will increase my eye to know the next farthest I can reach. And I know I will just use this particular tap. Cool. Uh, that's the most cleanest code. Uh, although you can just have many kind of implementation. Uh, the implementation, like firstly, the see this part is pretty simple. Everyone could implement this, but to implement this part, it's actually a bit tricky because you need to keep track. Okay, where's your IE? How you increase your farthest? All that stuff. This code piece of code it can go a bit big. Uh, so that is like a bit complex to write so that is the reason i just did i just showed you the entire dry run of how it will happen on both of the above examples i hope that you guys got it uh see so and see uh, yeah uh the two problems which are exactly same or like even easier than this one are video stitching and a jump game to jump game to is a very certain problem we have already seen a lot of times so yeah, time and space O of n as you are just iterating on all the plans one by one from zero to n, that's it. And you have already pre-computed for every range what's the maximum farthest it can reach. Already you have done it. So it's O of n here and again O of n here. That's all. Uh, that's pretty much it. Time and space. Code is down below. So you're going to goodbye. Take care. Bye-bye. I hope that you guys got it. Bye-bye.